Well guys, after a second seasoning, my griddle came out of the oven and we're gonna try something here. Obviously bacon's real greasy. And so they they say that when you reseason cast iron that bacon's one of the best things to cook in it to begin with. Now, I'm not sure I totally agree with that. I'll show you why here in just a second. Bacon has a tendency to... Um, aha! Thought I had all my... Ah, oh, there it is. You end up with meat scraps at the bottom. I suppose I could put water on this, but I don't really want to put water on it right at the moment because... See how that pivot works? That works really, really nice. See that pan right there? That was a concoction I did the other day. I want to see if I could make that actually fry on the bottom. As you can tell here, it didn't hold together. What that was was, I'm not a big canned beef, corned beef hash guy, but every once in a while, I just get a hankering. And so that's a full can of, a 16 ounce can of corned beef that I fried in this little cast iron skillet and it did real good, except for the fact that I'd never done it in this skillet before. And I didn't really get the bottom of it seared together. Now, I'm not gonna mention the brand. It wasn't a, it wasn't a national brand. It was a more of a local brand that the, the Corned beef itself, the, the hash wasn't all that good. By the way, when you're doing this, you don't want to stick that particular spatula onto the hot grill because they will melt. Yeah, let's not show you how. <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to do here was fry my bacon on my new griddle. And then give this a, a new sear on the bottom. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't coming out anywhere near as good as I was hoping it would. But hey, we're going to live with it. I'm going to shut that off. And uh, I think part of the reason there was Again, in, in filming here, I've got to get a I've got to get a tripod or something for this camera, to where that I can actually work with what I'm working with two hands. I'm just going to let that sit there, and uh, it's going to be hot for a while. But uh, eventually, here I'll come back and I will eat this. It actually tastes better than what it looks. Let's see what happens here. I don't want to flip those eggs back over. Yeah, it browned. It's better than what it was. The way it was, it, it got warmed all the way through, but it really hadn't got cooked. This is going to be fun. This is what you call inexperience with what you got. And this is why a lot of people don't like cast iron. But if you look here, this is actually coming off. It's just, it just, it's just a matter of me not getting the temp right and everything like that. So that's that's an operator's fault. That's not an implement fault. Anyway, just thought I'd show you what I do with my cast iron. There's some of it. And that bacon back there looks pretty good. I'm going to enjoy that. You take care. We'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Oh, by the way, I did this after I went outside and shot the uh, tree video. So... I'm going to hop in the shower here real quick. By the time I get out of the shower, this should be cool enough to eat. And I'm going to have breakfast. You take care. Bye.